better. You can see the entire building. Truly a magnificent building. It's very, very decorative and ornate. And just to let everyone know, both of the museums in Philadelphia are closed on Monday, so if you're around a few more days and you'd like to see the museum, I recommend going today when they're still open. Don't try to go tomorrow. You'll notice that gold statue over to your right hand side. And her pony. And straight ahead of us is the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Designed by the first African American man to graduate from the University of Pennsylvania School of Architecture. Same as Julian Abel. You see the distinct yellow color. It's called Minnesota Dolomite. That's the stone used. And the roof is blue. These two colors are very important to the city of Philadelphia because they were Swedish settlers that were here, so we like to honor them in the colors of the art museum, the flag of Philadelphia, which is yellow, white, and blue, the flag of Pennsylvania, which is yellow, white, and blue, and the license plates on all the cars bought in Pennsylvania are, everyone say it together, very good, yellow, white, and blue. All right, and at this point, this is our stop number 10 for the art museum, and it will also be stops number 11 and 12 as well. There will be a trolley to take you through Fairmount Park if you'd like to visit the Philadelphia Zoo or the Please Touch Museum. burning outside. They've been burning almost continuously since that time. I've seen the Beatles tribute band rain there twice. They're pretty good, except their Paul is right-handed and not left-handed like he's supposed to be. And the largest theater that we'll see is coming up on the right-hand side as well. It is the Kimmel Center for the Performing Arts. Brick building with the glass atrium on top. The winter home of the Philadelphia Orchestra. There are two theaters inside. One can seat 2,500 people. The other can seat 600, and they can have events at the exact same time. The summer home of the Philadelphia Orchestra is in Fairmount Park at the Mann Music Center. They perform outdoors in the summertime. To Bobby McFerrin. You don't know Bobby McFerrin's name. You definitely know his most famous song. It goes a little something like this. Here's a little You will find over 800 different types of bottled beer from all over the world which makes it one of my personal favorite stores here in Philadelphia. It also would have been one of Ben Franklin's, because Franklin is quoted as saying, beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. And well, is a skylight. That is where they would do their operations because they didn't have electricity back then. You know, I think at the end of this day, we're going to want to Thank you. 